So Unity just launched their kind of new brand, I suppose, of uh, the Unity gaming services. Uh, I'm assuming this is quite similar to the EGS, which is the Epic Gaming Services. Um, and they released this quite slick looking MoGraph video. It didn't really explain anything about what UGS, 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 that's not great, is it? Uh, it didn't really explain what the uh, Unity gaming services actually were. Um, so I thought I'd put this little video out because I know people might be curious and want to know more about it. So essentially what uh, the Unity gaming services are is they are just they're just a collection of different services that Unity have that you have available to you as a uh, Unity developer. Um, you can see here, so there was a, a get started blog post in the uh, description. We can see so from con concept to launch and beyond. So what it is essentially is you've got the different sort of pillars, as it were, of the Unity gamer services. You've got the multiplayer, uh, back end, analytics, and money essentially that's what you all want as developers any investors that's what they want they want more uh funds but for example where it says multiplayer uh, they've got vvox which is the in-game voice and chat um, and then they've got quite a few new beta services and these beta services have kind of been pushed out alongside this new brand of the unity gaming services um, some things have been there for a while already but uh, for example netcode which is kind of Unity's uh, multiplayer solution. And it's a first party netcode solution, as it says here, which means you know it's gonna be well supported by Unity. Uh, it's not an external asset, so you can use that. And they've even provided uh, a nice sort of demo project here for you to sort of explore and figure out um, piece apart. And they do say that they, they're keeping the um, documentation for netcode up to date. Um, there are some things on the actual like main Unity sort of C-sharp documentation that kind of are outdated, but it seems like they're putting a lot of effort into netcode. Uh, you've got Relay, which is kind of the connection between players and a peer-to-peer. -peer. Um, Lobby, which is another plugin. Uh, and then you can actually get in touch, and I'm sure it'll be very expensive, but there's matchmaking and multiplayer server hosting. Um, and then in the pillar of backend, you've got everything's in beta here. Um, so you've got a cloud saving, cloud code, uh, authentication, so you can make uh, player accounts. There's economy, which is all about kind of in-game purchases, like currency conversions, so you can change between different bits. You've got inventory management. And with them all being tied through Unity and kind of if you have an account, um, it's quite a safe way to do it. So you can see there's monetize as well, which has been in Acquire. Um, kind of, well, I think the, the main point of this is that if you use the Unity gaming services, kind of, if you're making a multiplayer game that's sort of scaled and you want to have in-app purchases and accounts to tie it all to, there are different sort of third-party assets that you can do. But, but as a developer, it'd probably make more sense if the pricing works out to have everything sort of under one roof because you know that everything's going to be compatible and that Unity are kind of in charge of that. Uh, there probably are better solutions out there, but if this does what it says on the tin, that'll just cut out a lot of the work of trying to uh, get a new product and see if it's right, something like a new asset, for example, on the asset store. Um, just using Netcode, for example, I know there's um, Mirror, for example, that's one of the big sort of third-party uh, back-end net Netcode plugins you can get. Um, to enable multiplayer, but if you can just use netcode built into Unity directly, you know the documentation is there. So kind of the marketing spiel for the for UGS is uh, that you can power your multiplayer game, uh, create, create dynamic player experiences, understand and engage with your players and grow revenue in your mobile game. Um, and it's apparently battle tested and you can build, launch and scale. So what that means is that everything's three Everything's free to get started, and then you only pay as you go, essentially. So the bigger you get, um, the bigger the cut, essentially, gets uh, for, of Unity earning some some of your sweet hard-earned money. And obviously, you've got the big names here, like Respawn and Riot and uh, Atari, 505. Like, they're all using these. Um, and then you can get the support, obviously. Um, so, yeah, in terms of pricing, you've got the free with... Um, some good free free limits, especially while you're getting set up. But this is where it starts to add up. But obviously, you know, if that it might work financially for your game. Um, each game is going to be different. Everyone's development costs are going to be different. You may be able to get it cheaper by shopping around, but you don't get the kind of you don't get everything sort of under one roof there. 
So yeah, you can see, I'm, I won't go through every single individual price, but you can see kind of the prices on here. And obviously I'll leave this uh, linked in the description below, but I just thought this was a quick video to go over kind of what exactly UGS UGS is. Um, just provide a little bit more information on it uh, in a video format, because people may not want to come and click through all of this. But yeah, that's it for now. Um, I don't know if this was useful or not. If it was, let me know in the comments below. Um, and in the meantime, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.